What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Lunar Neos, and uh, we here with Twitch Chat. We cool, we cool, we kicking it. And uh, <clears throat> first off, let me just uh, appreciate all the new subscribers and stuff, people that's following me. And uh, I, I I really love y'all. But my main gripe right now is for y'all uh, Negroes in the comments saying that uh, I need to react to my own stuff, and I need to react to uh, uh original content first off i do react to original content second off if you go down my youtube page you will see that i've been doing this stuff for years and i've been trying any and everything under the sun and then just to prove y'all wrong i do throw in original content every now and then but guess what y'all don't watch them why are these videos being watched i don't know is it lazy you may think so but i don't look at it lazy because i not really reacting to i mean yes i'm reacting to the content but i also love the person's video that i am watching and i'm you know i like what they're saying what they're too since i think of it as like you know um if that person was here going back and forth with them in the video but i don't have nobody here with me so it doesn't make me feel as lonely as i am in this cold cold world so um fuck y'all and uh yeah if you don't like it you don't have to watch it now back to the original video i had it pulled up now it went away let me find it all right now that i found the video this video is by chisa z we uh chat we've seen this dude before uh this title of the video is men don't want to marry us we're all single and i'm getting scared all right first off men don't want to marry women. <laughs> women it ain't the fact that men don't want to marry women it's that women make it hard to want to marry them and that sounds probably baffling to y'all but uh it's just a lot of shit that women put men through and then one thing i've that I started asking to people is y'all talk about marriage and wanting to be married and want to do all this but do y'all want to be wives that's the real question do y'all want to be wives like do y'all really want to be wives y'all have a long list of stuff y'all want from men but as soon as a man tells you what he wants from you it's a no like it y'all not it's not even up for discussion so with that being said men you have to start asking the question now to these women that y'all are dating do they want to be wives if you find a female that wants to that longs to be a wife that just wants to and and when i say this i'm not saying it as like a slave but like they try to twist everything anyway so fuck it um they want to cater to y'all they want to cater they want to cater to their man they want to cater to the family they want to be a wife they want to cook they want to clean they want to like fucking fold your clothes out the laundry they want you to go to work and bring home and hell some of them still want to work but they want to be wise they want to be able to give their nurturing their love to somebody and those are the women that you just need to find granted a lot of women that are good like i said in a couple of videos ago the women that are good that are worth dating and worth um pursuing they don't let themselves be known or they're standing right beside the ones that are the loudest ones telling men that they don't need to take you can't take a can't take them to the applebee's get two for tuesdays get you get you uh the unlimited margaritas and the two dollar tuesdays that would be is a clutch deal by the way my girl loved it she didn't complain she got drunk as fuck and guess what we went home and yeah so anyway that's what you just gotta do boys like just fucking find these women that want to be wives and women that want to be wives start writing these men y'all so scared of rejection what's the worst they can say no and i don't mean go go out to every fucking like y'all gotta and that's and that's the one thing i hate about social media people don't understand their dating spectrum 
and they don't understand what they fall under. But because everybody's so sex crazed, us men will fuck just about anything for real. And you get you get through dry spells, you get through rough patches. I understand, boys. I understand. I'm not even upset with y'all. But at the same time, those women that do get those certain dudes that are like fucking upper echelon, they get stuck in that setting. And so say like a girl that you know shouldn't be fucking that one dude and y'all like man hell no nah. he was probably that da- he was probably down bad that one night and she probably got she probably did and them them be the time the 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 woman that show out and give give you the best guac guac three thousand he gonna keep her around for uh, until she gets out of him and sad to say is those females get with those dudes and be thinking that dude wants a relationship when no if you're just a guac guac three thousand and he's not going to get rid of you he's not going to tell you to go but he's never going to date you and uh i'm guilty of it we're all guilty of it and be honest with yourselves you're guilty of it and i'm not even going to sit there and hold you or make you feel bad it is what it is we have to do better but at the same time because of social media and just the way things are nowadays those females don't understand that they're the guac guac 3000 and they get stuck on that and so now when they get done with old boy they are looking for the next boy like that and they don't get that and then years down the line when they finally realize and they want to settle and that's why i hate the word settle because a lot of women that are settling they're getting the dudes that they would never have talked to back in the day when they was in their prime doing that and third and then they use sex as a medium and then you fucking simps marry them and it's a it's a whole thing anyway let's get let's see what this video talk about before i go on a tangent uh appreciate all the new followers y'all i really i really appreciate everybody that's fucking with me and uh i know i i i'm new to this uh content creation well i'm not new to content creation i'm new to this reacting thing and the folks that do fuck with me I see y'all and I really do appreciate y'all and I do love that y'all like these videos that's getting me known and y'all are actually going and watching my other videos that I post that is original content and that's me doing stuff that nobody else is doing or doing stuff I like to to do and you know I know those videos aren't the videos that get the most views they get like you know 60 views maybe 100 views I like every little view I get because I am a small channel I I'm appreciative I'm not in the big time and I see each and every last one of y'all and I try to comment every time y'all comment back anyway even the ones that don't like me even the ones that be hating and shit but anyway let's watch this video let me um click thing anyway say hello to my cat she mad at me right now she she likes to sit on the fucking computer and it drives me crazy but uh let's get this going Cheers, YouTube. Welcome to the Coffee Pod. My name is Chishu Zed. Drink the coffee; it'll make you feel better. Breaking news: You won't believe this. We've got a chick here who actually admits that maybe, just maybe, we haven't been drinking enough coffee. Get your coffees out. But not only that, she says maybe we've taken this single thing too far. Maybe, just maybe, we took this independent-minded feminist movement too far. And why does she think so? Because most of her friends, in fact, all of her friends are unmarried and single and she can't believe it she can't believe it don't believe me check it out for yourself let's get it in the most selfish way possible sometimes i do have to look at my friends and think maybe we took being single a bit too far Mm. maybe we cheered each other on in our singleness a bit too much some would even argue that maybe we took feminism too far because i'm looking around the group and thinking "Mm, not even one wedding is on the horizon not even one damn not even one but i think a lot of chicks today can relate to this but i mean they did it to themselves like you i don't feel bad for them and i'm so scared for this club that when we open this club um me and my pops open up a club and these are the women that's gonna be in there bro and they are just looking for a lick they want to they want to get with somebody with money and take care of them and all their kids and they've been ran through the mud and Man, when I was DJing in high school and college, man, had to keep that throwing L's left and right, bro. 
Cause like the the women these women don't respect themselves enough to bruh. Bruh. Let me let let me finish the let's get it more into the video before I go on one of my tangents. I'm sorry. Let's be honest, man. How many of these women do you see walking around, regardless of how good they look? Do you see walking around in trips, going to um vacation by themselves? Girls' nights out by themselves, of course, you know, they dudes come through busted cheeks one time and keep it pushing. Are we surprised to keep listening? Not even that it's not on the horizon. We are actually so single that we are at the point where I wouldn't even go into a shop and pick up an expensive dress and think, mm, I'll save this for a wedding. Like, wow. I cannot think of a single one of my friends who is nearing marriage. And as I said, for entirely selfish reasons, I'm just like, we're going to need to rectify that because I personally need to be at the weddings in my prime. So how are you going to rectify that? I need to be at that open bar having my your name moment. Like it just really does seem like something I'm going to have to delve into in my twenties and time is running out. Unfortunately, time is running out, you know, five years down. Like we, we are going to need the weddings to start rolling in. But as I said, I do believe that we have, we have cheered each other's singleness on a bit too much. And I just don't know if I will be seeing a wedding before the decade is out, unfortunately for me that's too bad but the question is is there hope no probably not <laughs> let's check out some of these comments see what the people have to say first comment here says we girl boss too hard yes you did with the crying emoji what's blowing my mind guys uh, right now is like this comment has 53k likes and this chick here is admitting that they girl bossed too hard yes uh, a lot of you going to be single. That's what the study saying. Everybody's going to be here to see it on the coffee pod. Another comment here says no, because I'm a little too independent, really. And that's another problem. Like a lot of females don't even know how to like. What's the right word? I don't want to use submit, but that's what it is. Like a lot of them just don't know how to submit to men. And that's why, like, um, I've been starting to tell, you know, the bros and shit to uh so a couple of things i look for when i'm looking for a woman is does she have a male figure in her life like if she doesn't have a male figure in her life she cannot even fathom a nigga telling her anything you got like you you get what i'm saying like so for me if she ain't had no older brother to check her and she may not have the best relationship with her older brother but her older brother like she still respects her older brother you know what i'm saying and like or uncle or their dad and not none of that weird uncle when they was fondling on them and doing weird shit and them them fuck them up and now they're only fans girls and granted that's a whole nother bucket of trauma that i'm not even gonna open on this video I mean, actually, like, a healthy relationship with a male figure in their life. Rather, it be a mom, boyfriend that the mom never got married, but that man treated the, her like his daughter to the point to where, like, in her head, she know, it, like, her car breakdown, she can call him. That older brother that, like, they may not have the best relationship, but at the same time, if something go down or she needs somebody to be there for her, he gonna pull up. Like my sister knows she can call anyone. Like when she when she was at surgery, who was taking her to surgery? Me. When she was moving, who she call? Me. Not necessarily me, but my uh, our other brother. When she takes trips and stuff, who she call? Our other brother. Like all of my brothers, when my sister has different stuff to do, she she's gonna call one of us and we are in there. You know what I'm saying? When she needed money and shit like that, who she gonna call? My military brother, even though. I mean, that military money, he nice, but you know, you know what I'm saying? Like she just has, she has a way with us and we're all going to be there and we're all going to do it. And there's no questions asked. Like when she was in, when she was, uh, when I went to surgery with her, I, uh, when I took her home from surgery, I'm getting her medicine. I'm feeding her, making sure she's straight. I'm putting her to bed. I'm like doing all this, uh, undo the stitches and stuff like the doctor showed me and shit like that like we are like she knows how to she knows how to come to a man and 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 not be an act like she's an asshole don't get me wrong all women are assholes 
but she knows like you know she knows her role you know what i'm saying when she's home what she's doing she's like cooking for she cooking for all of us like she and she loves cooking and not saying like she's just supposed to be in the kitchen stuff but she has those motherly instincts and what's crazy like our mom died hella young like we were hella young when our mom died but my dad like raised us in a way like he he taught us like what it is to be a man what is it mean be a woman like my dad had number of sisters and his mother growing up so like not saying he was a fucking female and shit like that because i know y'all weirdos are like run that and flip it and shit but my pops was like you know when he was cooking and stuff he had her under there like he taught all of us how to cook but he showed her like do this in the third show her how like you know when you was making shit from scratch this is what his mom used to do and now she loved cook and do all this stuff so when she home thanksgiving she doing all that bro you know what i'm saying we helping her but like you know how women get when they in the kitchen they don't even want us in there and she just like that like my sister she that you know what i'm saying like when she come home put on like little stuff like i put on her tags or shit we changing her tires and shit like that washing her car like shit that she not supposed to do when we go out a trip she not pumping the gas when we with her we pumping the gas for her like she knows in her head how a man's supposed to treat her and so i pray for whoever gets with her they gonna have to not only step up to like four brothers that she's been around but also our dad is like fucking superman to her you know what i'm saying and so it's just like she understands that so like she gonna need a real man to come in her life and be a man like not no fucking boy shit she gonna laugh in your face you know what i'm saying and so those are the type of women that you have to you have to search for because they don't understand like the dichotomy of the dichotomy of a man role um, and a female role y'all are never gonna miss even if she she could be independent but if she she can be independent but if she had a man in her life bro bro you good you golden because she understands in her head okay she knows that she's gonna have like it may take a minute she's gonna have to relieve her responsibilities but she, you have to show her that she can trust you and she can fall back on you and not these women that says what a man should be how these women that don't they ain't never been around a man who who they mom told them what a man should be doing and they mom single like if your mom has never been in a relationship and your mom been going from dude to dude how can she tell you what a man supposed to be if she never kept one and she never relieved that so like you got women out here that are telling men to how to be a man but they don't even know what a man is and then they get with emotional dudes who were raised by single women thinking that they're manly but in return they're just sensitive boys and like like a lot of street dudes are raised by single mom not saying all of them can't be men they probably had somebody in their life and i know a bunch of dudes who was raised by single moms they had a male figure or male role model in their life to show them the ropes to show them how to do certain things and they picked up on that and so like i'm not saying like all single men raised by single mothers aren't men that's what I'm, now what i'm saying just to get that clear but you have people out here that had never had a male figure in their life being raised by their mothers and they see how their mothers act very emotional very hot-headed and that's why you get a lot of these killings and stuff from these men, these these male figures that's why they go to jail and they come back they be a totally different person you know what i'm saying because they had that structure in their life they didn't have that you know consequence they didn't got the consequences they didn't have somebody in their life putting them on the game and teaching them something that they should have learned years ago like that's what your father's supposed to do your father's supposed to be in your life putting you on game and just giving you that structure you need to maneuver through your emotions to maneuver through life and not saying that all fathers are perfect but you know what i'm saying you need that man in your life that like you need that structure so like if you don't if a female don't know how that structure is supposed to be handled they're never gonna they're never gonna give you the time of day they're never gonna give you that role to like you could you could mesh well with her they're never going to relieve 
any opportunity they're always going to do everything on their own and say you ain't shit because you don't help but it's like they don't even you, they're not even talking to you and they're not even like fucking making it to where you can help but you know i don't went on a tangent or whatever but uh that's one thing i've been like trying to tell folks now i'm really big on that like i, I just see that as i see that as like one of the main things that like people need to like look out for is that women need to they have to understand like what the the male structure is in their life to even let a dude be in their life you know what i'm saying but i digress here's somebody else who says the books in the back is telling me everything i guess she's got a like good collection of books here but check this out another Not woman here book. says 29 here dot 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 crickets no um i'll have a tea actually stop drinking tea maybe you might have a chance 18 point nine k likes on that guys look at these numbers of women who agree there are thousands million of these women out here who are finally realizing time is running out men aren't trying to lock them down as wives they don't qualify so that comment turned into a thread with another girl here saying girl same another person here added to the thread and said same with the laughing emojis and the crying emojis somebody else here added and says same girl with the crying emojis another chick here says i'll be 30 in four months and crickets with the sad face crying emoji laughing emoji just you know emotions are up and down up and down that's what that uh that's what those emojis say somebody else here says 30 and same boy guys we're not done it keeps going another chick here says samesies and somebody else here says 28 soon silence even with the laughing emoji 31 same another chick here says heavy on the cricket somebody else here says 33 i don't know how i can fit a man in my schedule don't worry you won't have to Damn. no one's Damn. coming Ruthless. no one's coming <laughs> um let's check out some more comments man somebody else here says as the token single friend while all of my friends are married slash engaged dot 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 take your time take your time listen is it surprising that the only single friend in her friend group is giving terrible advice if you want something you have to prepare for it and qualify but of course she's headed to a single long lonely life here's another comment from another woman that says i won't admit this they're in denial they can't admit the truth even though it's looking them right in the eyes loneliness another comment here from a wife responded back to that chicken said many won't and continue on in denial so only a wife would be drinking coffee she responded back and said uh-uh wifey wasn't expecting that so they don't like to drink coffee as you know they don't like that truth the wife responded back and said not shaming just not dodging the truth and she goes on to say once people acknowledge this and act differently life changes in other words once you take a shot of espresso life changes drink the coffee it'll make you feel better here's somebody else who says babes since y'all are still in your 20s you have plenty of time so i'm guessing this next chick is probably older than 20s do we see this situation getting any better no it's not gonna get any better guys the content is it's it's it's, it's too much content too much listen i can hardly keep up with these chicks out here who are complaining about not being able to find a man to take him seriously for marriage another chick here says i just want to wear gorgeous dresses and party with my girls here's the other problem is i don't think the majority of these women of course don't even understand the sacrifice the dedication the commitment how marriage is not about happiness you know all the bitter parts of accepting the truth about marriage they don't want that they they all are sad that they won't be able to wear some pretty dress and take pretty pictures with their friends and she responded the creator says exactly that right she can't wait to be in her dress too we got another comment here that says i've protected my peace too much somebody else here says the pressure is getting worse and our final comment here says this is on the men oh look at that it's your fault <laughs> are you surprised she says this that is no accountability none of them can have no accountability this is on the man 
our bar is high and they're just not close to reaching it. Okay. First mistake. This is not on us. You can have the the difference between a high bar and self-respect is two different things. Their high bar is like they won't nigga listen, bro, I feel bad for the 20-year-olds right now. They want 20-year-olds like niggas in their 20s to be making six figures not saying that it's not possible but the chances of that especially in today's economy with how working is well i'm so glad i ain't gotta like go clock in a nine to five job anymore listen man the chances of somebody getting out of college instantly unless their family owns the company or they are you know they 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 already own it you know what i'm saying like, my brother hitting six figures, but my dad owns the fucking company. Get what I'm saying? Me and my dad are about to open a club. We own it. So, like, we own it. So, like, you, I, we're, we're straight because my dad already did the work. And now we're coming into it, taking it over. You know what I'm saying? And that's just... That's just being blessed. I know I'm blessed. Like I, I, I'm thankful for the, 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 the dad God gave me. Oh my gosh, I'm so thankful. But that's what you hear about a lot of white dudes. You know what I'm saying? They go to college and their dad owns some lawyer firm or some fucking real estate company or some business, and they send their kid off to college to do this, that, and the third. Then they come home and they just fit into what they probably was groomed for you know what i'm saying my dad my dad was djing and touring and stuff when i was born so when i he he just threw me in front of the shit and i was just like and i just picked it up you know what i'm saying and he owned the the djing company he owned the rec the uh not the record label the fucking uh stage and sound company and stuff he owns all of that you know what I'm saying? He built the brand already. All I got to do is build my name up. And that's what I did all through high school and college. Just built my name up in the area and started working, just doing my own thing. And not saying some of us don't have, like, we can't, we just, like, can just take it over in an instant. No, like, in my case with the music stuff, no. They still got to like you. They still got to want to come see you. You still got to be a dope-ass DJ. I still put in the work. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, my dad already did all the foundation stuff. I just got to come in and do my job now. You see what I'm saying? And take it over with the welder stuff. My dad built the welder school, did all this stuff. Every My brother come home from college. All he had to do is fit into his fucking position. And you know what I'm saying? So it's just like a lot of parents don't put their kids into position, you know. But at the same time, a lot of women see this whole fucking social media shit because of rappers and and fucking what they call them lifestyle influencers they think that's the real life and that's not like the regular regular dude can't doesn't have a father that built a company and they can just come home from college and start working or quit quit their quit their regular everyday job and go work for their folks and fit into these positions i was saying that because i was getting this i know like, i wasn't trying to like brag or anything but i'm trying to tell you like not everybody has that and so women get on social media and see nothing but that thinking that's real life and that's not real life certain people are just blessed but at the same time they want a rapper lifestyle and it's just like they're nowhere near none of that they be holding on the pictures they took on a cruise two years ago and still be posting them once a month like they traveling doing that, this, that, and the third. It's insane what women do to make it look like they live in a lifestyle and live in an apartment that's the size of fucking, uh, what's them damn, uh, seven brewer company, uh, drive-in coffee places. I don't know. I'm in the South. That's. I don't know if y'all I don't know where y'all at. Y'all may not know, but um, it's these little coffee shops. They're like a little driving thing. They're like the size of a fucking uh, stop sign. You come and get your coffee and leave. Like only three employees can be in there at a time. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not knocking where they stay at, but it's just like 
understand the means that you live in and understand like you know what you're wanting that's my thing it's like if you're in these situations you don't need to be looking at rich lifestyle it's probably cool to watch and like you know because you like drama reality tv that's the one thing but to think that you deserve that lifestyle and that you're not going to like date or talk to these men because that's what you want and you expect every regular blue collar man to provide that lifestyle is insane and they don't and you don't want to work or do nothing to even help your man a little bit on the bills like you won't you want him to pay all the bills and save up to buy you a new house how is that even possible in today's economy that's not it's not possible i'm gonna tell you that right now it's never it's never gonna happen never gonna happen you're never gonna get that if you're like thinking like the man gotta do everything that's impossible and fucking possible not in today's time unless somebody just got it again was put in position of their family lineage you know what i'm saying and then they're able to do that but at the same time those same dudes people like us and shit like you gotta show us way more why you even de should des deserve that you know what i'm saying like it's insane it's insane the mindsets a lot of these have and then you find out that a lot of these women been ran through the mud and so they want you to they want all these dudes to be fucking mr prince charming perfect at everything you gotta be hood be a go to church god fearing mud, all this shit you expect you and and they and and what's really is they they want all these street dudes and they want them to be prince charming but the prince charming dude is born the dude that treat her treat her right is born to her the dude that's good for her don't drive a foreign car the dude that's good for her probably like to sit at home and chill with his dog the dude that's good for her ain't a ain't a uh emotionally unstable so the relationship born to her that's what that's what you know what i'm saying and so a lot of fucking women just don't fucking it's just weird bro like when they when you really sit back and listen to what they want and listen to what they explain that that is never gonna happen and, and then like and then they're gonna sit there and wait for that man to pop up while they run in the streets in the clubs and stuff you're not gonna find that dude that's gonna treat you right in the club it's rare you know what i'm saying I'm not saying like good dudes don't go to the club you know what i'm saying but they're not gonna be out and shit while you doing thought thought activities with your thought friends you know what i'm saying but let's keep it going it's your fault <laughs> are you surprised she says this is on the men our bar is high and they're just not close to reaching it shoulder shrug and so of course man it's your fault it's your fault this chick can't find a husband to get on one knee and propose to her right since she has all the power when it comes to marriage it is your fault her standards are too high there is not one man in this entire universe that qualifies why is it so embarrassing for some reason to be 27 almost 27 and a half in may appreciate the follow and man. single 30k came. like single as all heck nothing in my life has gone the way that i thought it would which is fine but i really never thought i would be this single at 27 when all i am or all i want is at least a relationship a partner a best friend someone to live a life with build a life with get married have kids the whole shebang Like, I always think of people, which isn't, like, right of me, but I'm like, why are you 27? Like, why are you in your late 20s or early 30s and you're single? Like, what must be wrong with you that you're single at that age? But then I think of myself, I'm like, I am not perfect at all. I'm, mm -mm, I am not perfect at all. So I get it. I'm like, it might not just be them, but it, like... I'm just rambling at this point, but all I'm saying is 
can this just be the year where I find my person? And while I'm on that, where are all the good Christian nice men? Where are the people that don't give up when times get tough? Where are the people that actually mean what they say? It's like, literally everyone around me is engaged, getting married, married, having kids, having their second and third kids, like, and I'm just, I never thought I would be the single friend. I never thought that would be me. So, that's cool. I also hate dating apps. Like, who want, I don't want to meet someone on a dating app. I want to meet someone genuinely in real life and have it go like that. Unless anyone on here. But So if you're in the central Illinois area or really any state because I'm graduating this May with my master's. Um, my lease is up in June. I can go anywhere, okay? I can literally move it to any state. And it's really crossing my mind right now to just go. So central Illinois area or anywhere that's warm, has mountains, water, please comment below if you love God. It's number one. But why does it feel so embarrassing to be single at 27 when I just want to be starting and living a life with someone and having kids, like, at least by 29, you know? Hmm. <sighs> Listen, as always, appreciate you for checking out yet another episode of the Coffee Pod, man. Leave your comments down below. Of course, I'm curious to hear what. For that last girl, um, this girl right here, it uh feels like that because that's just in your nature, biologically, for a woman to uh want to be a nurturer, want to be a uh, provider for your family you know what i'm saying like it's in y'all's dna it's been there encoded for hundreds thousands of years at this point to want to be that loving and you know and then y'all are fertile too so like your hormones are craving you know that to make a family and shit like that not hormones uh I mean, your hormones are, uh, it's part of it too, but like, I forgot what the fucking, the scientific word for it. It's, uh, you know, your pheromones are going off, you're looking for a spouse, like, you know, that's why they would, that's why, like, they tell y'all once you get out of, you know, high, at least college and stuff, and, and you're prompt, like, a co like, a college used to be, like, for women to find their husband, then, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of the times, women, when they got out of college, 9 out of 10, they, they had their husband and shit. But, but uh, that's all that is. It's just in your nature to want that, especially if you care about that. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, that's why, like, a lot of women are three or fours at this time, at, the, at that time period, too. Like, they're, they're wanting to be single. But really, they want to be loving. They want to give that to to you know a loved one and they decide to be a, a 304 and that's not the right way to go about it that's why by the time they get in their 30s a lot of women in their 30s that isn't settled down and stuff like that then we know you just been ran through you know what i'm saying you ain't been, you ain't been sitting there not doing nothing you know what i'm saying like anyway uh so it sucks that, like, you know, she feels like that. But then again, you know, for church, like, you got to be in the church. Like, if you want a church dude, you know, love God and stuff, like. But if you're down to travel, I mean, shoot, like, it's so many dudes. Like, hell, travel, travel and just go to, like, I don't know. Like, so for me, like, what I do to meet new people and stuff, I go to cons. Like, I love anime and video games so i love going to cons so what do i do i travel and go to cons and i meet people that way and sometimes you 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 may just gotta get out spread your wings and run into your person it, it, it has happened before you know what i'm saying so um i don't know what else to add to that sucks too but anyway y'all like the video like comment subscribe you know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. 
And uh, we're trying to hit 300 by the end of this month. Peace out.